Hello, and welcome to another video by me, Teletacos. Today, we're going to be making a first-person camera bobble slash shake script. And yeah, let's just begin. So the first thing, the first thing you're going to do is you're going to insert a local script into starter character script. Let's name this camera bubble. So first, let's get the run service. Game get service run service. And then get we'll get the camera. So local camera is equal to workspace.turn camera. Then we're gonna get the character. So local character is equal to script.turn. And local humanoid is equal to character. Wait for child. Humanoid, and then let's get the humanoid root part, and that's gonna be character wait for child humanoid root part, and then we're gonna get a default offset. So let's set this to the de default offset. Now let's set this to vector.new. 0, 0, 0 and then we're gonna get a rotation speed I'm just preparing this for later we're gonna get a bubble speed we're gonna get a rotation intensity we're gonna get a bubble that's gonna be 0 0.7 whatever you like but let's have it that for now shake enabled true local x y z is equal to 0 comma 0 comma 0 when we do last time is equal to 6 and then local current time is equal to 0 there now we have all the variables we're gonna need for later. I'm just writing them up now and I can explain later. So the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna do run service dot render step next function. So what this function is gonna do is it's gonna run basically every frame. So that's pretty simple. Now let's get local distance. And let's do brackets and then camera dot c frame dot position minus camera dot focus dot position dot magnitude so this is basically gonna look if you are how much zoomed in you are basically and then we're gonna make a ray a ray cast so type in ray param because we need ray cast params and let's do dot new and then ray param dot filter type uh, is equal to enum dot ray cast filter type dot blacklist and then ray params dot filter descendant instances is equal to and let's make a table right here and then do character and then do local raycast equal to workspace raycast and then do humanite root part dot position comma humanoid root part dot c frame dot look vector times three and then ray parents. So what this is going to do, is it's basically going to do a raycast. If you don't know what a raycast is, it's, ba it's basically like, it's like a beam you send out. And we're going to send this beam from the humanoid root part to where the humanoid root part is looking. And then times three is just the distance, how long we want this beam to be. And the ray parent is this what we made here. We basically want the ray to ignore the character. So whenever this ray hits something, it's basically gonna be equal to what's here. So it's gonna be, yeah. 
So if the ray hits something, it's going to be equal to this uh, variable right here. So for example, you could do ray cast dot, dot instance and you will get which part it hit. But we will not do that for now. For now, we'll do if distance is less than 0 0.7. So how much zoomed in we are. So we're basically just going to check if we're in first person. Uh, which probably should be, but yeah. And then do if ray cast. Then, so if the ray hits something, check enable is equal to false. And we're going to set the default offset, offset to vector3.new 0, 0, point, minus 0 0.2, comma minus 0 0.6. Else, can I copy this? Put in true here, and right here we're gonna do zero comma minus zero point two comma minus two. So this, all of this is basically to see when you go up against the wall, you don't want the offset to be so you can see through the wall. So for example, if I set here humanoid dot camera offset uh, or actually humanoid dot yeah camera offset gonna be equal to default offset. You can see that if we look here now you're gonna be able to see down like this. And if a wall was here, and what you want to see is because it's gonna look better when uh, I'm uh, you make it so you can see your body. It's gonna look better when you're in front of the body. But if you if you like this and you don't have this grip, uh, you're basically gonna be able to see through the wall. So that's why we have this. Okay. Let's get back. So, right here. Let's now check if the uh, character is moving. So, if humanoid dot move direction uh, dot magnitude is more than zero. So, if the uh, if we're moving and shake enabled. So if it's supposed to shake, right? Now, over here, we have made a variable for elastic and current time. So what this is gonna do is last time, tick is basically a global, global variable for time. So if you would print tick, it would be like some number that uh, has uh, updates every second. And it's going to be a really high number because it's been going for a while now. So, and current time is just set to zero. So what we're going to do here is, if the character is moving, then we want to check if the last time is equal to zero. Then we're going to set last time to tick. Now this may be confusing, but I'm going to explain later why we do this. And set current time to tick. minus last time now let's get to the fun stuff actually so let's do offset y is equal to math.apps this is the absolute uh absolute value i think and this is basically gonna ensure that if uh if a number is basically minus one it's gonna set it to one so it's gonna if the number is negative, it's gonna set it to positive. Yeah. And in here, we're gonna do math dot sine or sinus. And this is basically a wave function. It's kinda hard to explain, so I'm just gonna write it. And then the current time times the bubble speed. So in this function, this is basically gonna choose the bubble speed how fast uh, the bubble is going to go. 
and then we'll times this by the bubble intensity how much we want it to bubble now let's get to the rotation so we have we have one offset for the for the kind of uh, camera offset and then we have a uh, one variable for the rotation we want on the camera and we're gonna set this to math dot cosinus and then we're gonna get turn time times the rotation speed and we're gonna add math dot pi to 2 and why we're we adding math dot pi to 2 it's just because uh, as you can see on this picture right here you can see that this is a wave and where math dot pi through 2 is that value is gonna be zero but if we would have if we if we wouldn't have math dot pi it would start on another number and so it wouldn't uh, always smoothly transition yeah and let's do local offset is equal to vector 3 dot new and then we're gonna get zero offset y and then we're gonna add on the default offset and then we're just gonna set the uh, the humanoid dot camera offset to be equal to humanoid dot camera offset so humanoid dot camera offset and we're gonna lerf this and if you don't know where the lerf is it's basically gonna take this vector value and it's gonna make it uh, transition by a certain number or a certain step every time so it's not it's gonna divide it basically into small parts so it can smoothly transition and then we can do default uh, offset comma 0.1 And then for the rotation, we're gonna do camera dot C frame is equal to camera dot C frame times camera or sorry C frame dot angle x comma y comma rotation. And then we're gonna set C to rotation. And then else, so if we're not moving want the last time to be zero and the humanoid dot camera offset we're gonna want to be humanoid dot camera offset and we're gonna do the same thing here we're gonna lerp it so it's smooth uh, default offset comma 0.1 oh sorry this is of course also gonna be offset not default offset sorry and then we're gonna make it for the rotation so c is equal to c times 0 0.9 and then camera dot c frame is equal to camera dot c frame times c frame dot angle x comma y comma c there we go so let's test this out and i'm going to show you that the let's see if there are any errors okay so this is of course way too much <laughs> so let's let's see here so the two problems were that right here after this if statement you're gonna have an else and then type uh, shake enable is equal to true and default offset is equal to vector 3 down you 0 comma minus 0 0.2 comma 0 and this is basically when you're not in first person you don't want the uh, c offset to be enabled and also right here you, you have to multiply this by the rotation intensity another thing is that we can remove this and in here we'll type math out uh, sinus instead this just makes it uh, easier because this already starts on zero yeah and let's test it out mm. 
can see that it's working. And we can see that it smoothly transitions. Yeah, that's this. This was a little bit more advanced episode, but I just made this camera script and I just wanted to show you this to you guys. So please uh, leave a like and maybe a subscribe. That would help me really much. And also, I would be very happy if you left a comment on what I should do next because I'm running out of ideas and I'm not over the. I've not uploaded for about two months now, so yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Bye-bye.